everybody. Welcome to Flight Test. So we're going to be working on a thrust factoring system for the retro rocket. We asked you guys for help on that and you guys delivered big time. I just pulled up the Flight Test Forum's research page and I see a couple of different variants here, but the one I'm most interested in is John Becker and I think he's going to be the one to win this competition. I'm going to get started on this print. Let's see what we got. All right, Josh. So, uh, I've got a surprise for you. Holy cow, is this John's? Yes, that's John Becker's design. <laughs> and I also realized not only did he design the uh, thrust factoring system, but yeah. he also designed a steerable nose wheel. So I'm gonna print oh one of those gosh. out too. And he made it silver. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure it's gonna do flat spins like the crazy, you know, prop version did. But it's definitely gonna give you well, some rudder control and elevator control. It has rudder and elevator, that's one of the biggest things. Now if you guys didn't know, we had a challenge between us to our amazing community, and that was to basically design a 3D thrust factory system. It's something we tried, but we failed. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And the community delivered big time. Oh yes, there are lots of different applications. This one to us seems like the most potential, and the goal at the end of this, if this works, we're gonna give those designs to you, and it sounds like possibly even a nose gear set, so you'll be able to print it and have a lot of fun too. So I guess I gotta basically get a retro rocket. Yeah, going. yeah, you gotta get to work. <laughs> I actually have a retro rocket built over here. I think I'm just gonna take the motor off and retrofit this. Oh, perfect. Let's get to it. So we are loving this project because nothing we do here at Flight Test would be possible without our amazing community. They are our Flight Test family. They are the people that we thank every video and they are the people who give us the feedback to get us to where we are today. Now, a really great way to be able to meet our community, get amazing ideas, and also see the projects that they do is by simply going to our forum and our article section on our website. The forums actually were the very first things that started when we started the YouTube video series all the way back in 2010. And since then, there is a world of knowledge and amazing people ready to inspire, inform, and help you. This project with the community and specifically with John has been such a blast. We'd really like to see what other challenges you would like us to see issued to our community and do similar episodes like this. So Dave, what's your first thoughts about it? All right, so, so far, I like it. it it's a nice tight tolerance fit. And uh, yeah, I'm just cleaning up the print a little bit to get my servos in and hopefully it all works out well. Nice. What's your predictions? <laughs> I think it's gonna be awesome. Didn't take very long. The Retro Rocket basically just has one wire, an ESC, and a motor in the whole fuselage. I already have that ripped out here. I'm working on some other designs at the moment, but once Dave's done with that, we'll be able to trim out the outer edge, place the rocket in, and get all the servos hooked up. So I just finished up our thrust factoring unit, and all I did was uh, mount it to our EDF, and I used some Zap CA to do so, and then finished it off with some kicker. So now I'm gonna get this over to Josh so he can get it installed. <laughs> Ridiculous. Wow, that's uh, pretty impressive. I think uh, we might have a good nozzle size. <laughs> we may have a better nozzle on this than I think we may do with the poster board. Yeah, so uh, yeah. Oh we're God. just going to mix in uh, aileron controls, yep. right? Yeah, it would be, uh, I think, Delta. Gotcha. It's actually the Delta or V-tail, one or the other, but it's it's a V-mix of some gotcha. sort. And uh, so up-down works, and then rudder would work. So yeah, it'd be V-tail. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And rudder would give you left and right. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to let you do that because you're the uh, radio master I'm master. Go, I'm going to go to manufacturing. <laughs> I'm going to go to manufacturing and grab a receiver, and then we'll show you how to do it as well. So right now, the retro rocket is hooked up to the FT Aura 5, but because we've added two different channels for the thrust factoring and, and also an additional channel for the steerable nose gear, I'm going to go ahead and use our radio master ELRS receiver. Now, the cool thing about this is, is if you have something like an Aura, you can use your Wi-Fi to program S Plus out, so it can go from the Aura or in this case, you can remap the channels and be able to add additional functions like nose gear, thrust vectoring, bomb drops, flaps, and so much more. This can be done really quickly and simply, and it's all done through a Wi-Fi link, whether it's on your phone or on your computer. So John really knocked this out of the park here. You can see the steerable nose gear, and you can also see his awesome thrust vector. And you're also gonna notice here that these both are separated here. I went ahead and just put a battery. Normally we can connect this with simply a uh, male to male going from one end to the other, but, I wanted to show you how cool this is. Imagine you're building something really crazy and you want receivers all over the airplane that all talk to different parts of the airplane. You can do that now. This plane has no connection from one part to the other. Now I am going to make that connection for flight, but I just wanted to be able to demonstrate this. This is working basically with the OR board, and this is just a standard PWM receiver with channels reassigned. I have the ability now to be able to have my thrust record turned off and on with the flip of the switch. And like I said before, we're going to put all the information on an article for you so you can copy screen by screen. Dave, I think we're ready to fly. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. I got the uh, old girl here with the old thrust vectoring system with the prop drive. 
Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison, right? I love it. Let's go fly. All right, so I'm heading out to Zap Runway. Forgot my transmitter here. Gonna meet up with the guys. One thing we love about this hobby is not only can you enjoy the wonder of flight, but you can also enjoy innovation and making your ideas a reality. Now, if you guys remember back on our original video of the Retro Rocket, we made a huge made-to-order Retro Rocket that you guys can build, and we even brought the idea of the thrust vector into reality using carbon fiber with our good friends at PCB Way. Whether it's 3D printing, carbon fiber, printed circuit boards, and so much more, if you have an idea that you want to make a reality, but maybe don't have the tooling, PCB Way is a really great way to make your idea a reality. Speaking of making things a reality, I cannot wait to see how this 3D printed thrust vector works, especially the fact we're gonna have yaw and pitch. This is gonna be epic. This straight up looks like a scene from uh, Blue Angels, <laughs> but with a total cartoony retro twist. Yeah, yeah, it's a little different, <laughs> that's for sure. Now Dave's gonna be flying the traditional thrust vectoring unit that we showed you in the original video. It spins like a uh, Chinese star. <laughs> I'm gonna be flying John Becker's new design and his nose gear design and see how it does. I have it turned off right now. We're gonna get it in the air, get it trimmed out, and then we'll see what it can do. All right, you, you ready? Go? Yeah, you wanna I'll go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Are you in your mode that you wanna be in? Yep. One up, that's a good sign. You may have to trim it, by the way. <laughs> All right, you ready, Michael? Yep. Here we go, I'm a little nervous. Whee, tree! So his nozzle design, I'm just gonna say this right now, is incredible. He has way more, way more speed and power. I love this thing. Wow, oh, you're cooking. Yeah, here, I'll just pass it through that. <laughs> and we're just flying off of two 2200 series together. All right, I'm all trimmed up. What do you say I go ahead and flip the switch and see what it can do? I like, Mike, I'll let you get a little closer to me, okay? Appreciate that. No problem. All right, you guys ready? We'll pick it up, flipping it in. Three, two, one, we'll try a flat spin. Not bad! Yeah, that's pretty good. Whoa, well, gotta pull out, gotta pull out, gotta pull out! All right, so the <laughs> the stop, because it's not on gyro, is not uh, <laughs> not as quick. But that is an EDF for you. But it flash spin beautifully. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go up one more time here. I wanna try I'm my... If I can. Oh my golly! You know what it does do, though? The, the thrust vector, there it is! Whoa! I forgot that I had pitch down turned on too. I was like, how am I turning so fast? Ready for a tight loop? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh. Oh! oh no, what'd you do? Oh! oh! No, what'd you do? Didn't go high. <laughs> <laughs> well. The thrust factoring system works. It worked epically. Um, don't get greedy, don't get low. That's what I did, I did both of those things. I got it in this crazy pitch. I went ahead and cross controlled it and I was making it look like flip over end over end Ooh. and spin. But you can't pull out of that too quickly. I don't know what was going on there, but I like lost all <laughs> lift. <laughs> I guess coming over top of the black runway maybe. <laughs> a little bit of fun. All right, so we're gonna go check out the damage in a second, but it worked. And even when I turned it off, I was able to fly around, but I did get greedy because when I went to try to do the loop, it kicked into this really cool flat spin. I'm like, I'm gonna ride this for a while. But I gotta remember, give it plenty of altitude to pull out because it's an EDF. It's made for speed, not for immediate punch, like yours is. Right, right. All right, let's go see what you did to the plane. what happens. Oh my gosh. So I got it separated. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's still working. Problem. You got no wings on it. <laughs> I smacked down so hard. <laughs> oh! oh! No, what'd you do? That's a control rod. <laughs> That's a beautiful death. I can't complain one bit. And it still works. I think the EDF is actually still in one piece. Yeah, it looks so. Uh, oh, you know what? It just, it just popped off. 
you gotta turn it at just the right angle or else it don't yeah. go in. Go with that bent control rod. Oh, that is hysterical. Well, it's still a winner. It flat yeah. spins, it does crazy <laughs> loops and a whole bunch of other things, but just don't do what I do. Take it up a little bit higher and have some fun with it. And the power from this nozzle, I guarantee is more powerful from our other one. So maybe what we can do is offer a 3D print file in the future. Maybe John, if you want to, you can make a 3D print file too. All right, well, John, you're the winner. This plane is not right now, but uh, you get the $500. And friends, if you want to see another challenge from us to the community, leave it in the comments below. We'd love to make that happen. Yeah, um, let's see what they have to offer. All right, we're going to post these plans and files. Big shout out to you again, John. Thank you so much for making reality. There's just enough time for you guys to be able to download this, show up at Flight Fest with your own Thrust Factor and EDFs. It was amazing to fly.